Do our own mothers experience the seven sorrows of Mary? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A mother's love for her child is unlike anything in the world. Its loyalty is unwavering. It is protective and yet it knows when to release its hold. It can be gentle but also strong. It is often loud but can become quiet and soothing. It adapts to every phase of a child's life like a bamboo that dances to the tune of the wind. It perseveres. It guides. It sacrifices a lot. It admonishes and chastises knowing that doing so may taste bitter to the child. But the mother's love never dies. Its fruit is always sweet. Ma, bakit tayo mga ita? Kakulay natin ang lupa. Kaya ba marumi ang tawag nila sa akin? Ang taong madumi ay ang taong hindi malinis ang puso. Sino yan? Ba't ganyan suot? Nay, baka pwede mo nang palitan. Mga kaklase ko, puro bagong suot. Gusto mo ba na itago na mahirap lang tayo? Alin ang karapat dapat hangaan? Isang taong madali ang buhay? O isang taong dumaan sa matinding kahirapan? Pasti, mukha siyang authentic. Sura mo. Puso to, ma. Ganito rin ang afro ng mga basketbolista sa TV. Hindi ganyan ang tunay na buhok ng ita. Pero mas pinapansin ako ng mga kaklase ko ngayon. Kailangan ba talagang magbago para lang matanggap ka ng ibang tao? Mr. Norman King! Ang turo sa akin ng nanay ko, kapag natanggap ko na kung sino ako, mas malayo ang mararating ko. Ako si Norman King, ipinagmamalaki kong ako'y isang aitang Pilipino. A mother's sacrifices typify to a certain extent what our Blessed Mother went through as she experienced her seven sorrows which we are celebrating today. When Simeon prophesied, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. 
This set off her other six sorrows that comprised what we now call the seven sorrows of Mary. First, the prophecy of Simeon. Second, the flight into Egypt. Third, the loss of Jesus for three days in the temple. Fourth, meeting Jesus on his way to Calvary. Fifth, Jesus' crucifixion and death. Sixth, Jesus taken down from the cross. And seventh, Jesus laid in the tomb. After Mary appeared to seven men with a black garment in her hand and told them that if they wished to please her, they should often meditate upon her sorrows, they established the congregation of the servants of Mary or Servites in 1239, with Mary standing under the cross weeping and in agony. The Pope institutionalized this as a feast seven centuries later, honoring our mothers his love repaid. That is why the mother of all mothers blesses us too for our appreciation of her own sorrows. She revealed her seven promises to St. Bridget in the 14th century if one honors her daily by saying seven Hail Marys while meditating on her tears and sorrows. First, I will grant peace to their families. Second, they will be enlightened about the divine mysteries. Third, I will console them in their pains and I will accompany them in their work. Fourth, I will give them as much as they ask for as long as it does not oppose the adorable will of my divine Son or the sanctification of their souls. Fifth, I will defend them in their spiritual battles with the infernal enemy and I will protect them at every instant of their lives. Sixth, I will visibly help them at the moment of their death. They will see the face of their mother. And seventh, I have obtained the grace from my divine Son that those who propagate this devotion to my tears and dolors will be taken directly from their earthly life to eternal happiness, since all their sins will be forgiven, and my Son will be their eternal consolation and joy. As we reflect today on the seven sorrows of Mary, may we truly appreciate our own mothers and what they went through to bring us to where we are today. Let us honor our Blessed Mother today and thereafter with our devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, Help me to appreciate the sorrows of our Blessed Mother so that I may appreciate her earthly sacrifices and her divine promises and respond with devout love. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.